Hey guys, so for today's tutorial, we're going to be channeling our inner bad gal with this funky faux hawk. You're going to need a nylon brush to keep the sides nice and smooth, and three large elastics. I'm going to leave the link for how I created these curls in the description below, but as long as you're starting with some kind of messy texture for this style, you're fine. We're going to start by taking a rough parting above each ear. It doesn't have to be perfect, that's the beauty of this hairstyle. And using my nylon brush, I'm smoothing this section all the way up into a half up ponytail. I apologize for my mean eyebrows, they appear every single time I pull my hair up. So I'm grabbing one of my large elastics and I'm going to tie this section into a ponytail. And I'm trying to keep this ponytail as tight and secure as possible. And then for the last time around, I'm going to create a loop and face the tail end forward towards my face. And then just adjust it to how far down your face you want the hair to fall. The second section is going to start behind the ear going upward towards the back of your head on both sides. Gather all of the hair to create your second ponytail and use your nylon brush to smooth out the sides once again. Tie the elastic as tight as possible and this time when we create our loop, we're going to leave the tail end going backwards. Make the ponytail nice and tight and we're done. Do you love it? No. So now you're going to grab both of the buns that you just created and you're going to combine them using a bobby pin on both sides. Grab the tail ends of the section and tuck them into the bun that you just created using bobby pins. I know this looks crazy, but stay with me, it's going to make sense very soon. And now you can grab your final elastic to create the final bun. Use your nylon brush once again to smooth out the sides as much as possible and create the bun upwards towards your previous bun. Once again, make the ponytail as tight as possible and for the final time around, create a loop with the tail end going backwards once again. And now I'm securing this bun into the previous bun that I created using a bobby pin. Continue securing this bun into the previous bun using several bobby pins until you've achieved an overall tall and lean faux hawk. To conceal the elastic band, I'm grabbing a small piece from the tail end and tucking it into the elastic. For the finishing, I'm using Forceful 23 from Redken. It's a pretty strong hold hairspray, and I'm spraying it quite generously, and then going back in with my nylon brush to smooth it out as much as possible. And I'm going to repeat this step on both sides until both sides are nice and smooth and shiny. I haven't shampooed my hair in a couple of days, so my ends are looking a little ratchet. So we're going to go in with a 19 millimeter wand just to bring a little bit of refinement to the ends. There's no rhyme or reason to the way that I'm curling my hair. I'm simply grabbing the frizziest pieces and curling them in different directions to create a little bit of refinement, to remove the frizz, and to get some nice movement happening. Finish it off with generous amounts of hairspray and you're done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun making it. 
Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below letting me know what you think. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And if you aren't already, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and my blog, millennialmama.ca, for more hair inspiration. Don't forget to subscribe.